New at 5.30, Mills College plans to merge with Northeastern University for financial reasons. But as KPIX5's John Ramos tells us, some alumni think it means the end of the college's historic mission. The deal has been finalized, but the question now for this historic institution is what is its future? For most of its 169 years, Mills College has been a college for women only. But Mills President Beth Hillman says excluding half the population hasn't been a successful business model of late. Students haven't sought to study at Mills in the numbers that would enable us to continue that same formulation that we have today long into the future. So we had to consider different models, and this is an extraordinary opportunity. She says the new merger with Northeastern University will bolster the college financially, giving it a future it would not have had. Cross enrollment means students could study in Boston if they choose, and they can access Northeastern's innovative co-op program, allowing students to alternate full-time studies with professional work experience. But what will be lost is Mill's status as an all-women school, something even its leaders say is important. So why wouldn't people think that's going to be lost now? It's not going to be lost because Northeastern has committed to encouraging and keeping the, the essence that is Mills. They say Northeastern's charter requires equal access, so when school starts next fall, Mills will be a completely co-ed college. It will no longer be what we remember Mills College to be. Cynthia Mahood Levin is an alum of the college and president of the Save Mills Coalition. She says Mills' historic legacy of prioritizing the education of women cannot be maintained when all genders are allowed in. I just don't see how that's possible at all when you're completely focusing on a woman's education and you change it to co-ed. They won't they can't retain it. That's impossible. I understand the loss they're feeling because Mills won't continue to be the same as what it's been in the past. And that embracing the future in higher education require that we think about new models. It will be a new model for a new generation of students. But for those who cherish its past, the question remains, will it really be Mills at all? In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX5.